If you're here, it's likely because your Anderson sliding door lock mechanism broke off. This is actually a fairly common problem. And fortunately, this piece is easily replaceable. I bought a replacement for this on Amazon, and at the time of this recording in late 2021, it was about 13 bucks. So I'm going to show you how to change it now. It takes a standard number two Phillips. Just get in there and take these screws out. Do the bottom first because that way the top one will sort of pin it in position. I'll take the top one out. And you can see all kinds of parts fell out. And that is the old plate that was there. But the new one comes with a new plate as well. Now I just did a quick cleanup of the gunk that was around there. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered back over. You'll need to remove what's left of the old mechanism. You can pull it out by hand or use a pair of pliers, whatever suits your fancy, and it's out. I want to show you this here because basically how it works is very simple. Almost like a lock and key, it's a flat piece of metal, sort of like a flat blade screwdriver, and there's a slot in there that turns and that's what operates your latch. Now the reason that this fails if you see here you see how it's half broken off right there? That piece broke off and that is the failure point that you'll get right there. It breaks off and the pin falls out and the whole thing falls apart and it becomes a mess. Uh, they're made like this for some reason. I don't know why. I actually have the other piece of it right here with the pin. So that's the piece that breaks off. The new one that I have here, the style has changed ever so slightly. If you can see right there, this has the old AW logo where this one is screen printed on Anderson. And that's it. The back of this has that same thing again it's changed slightly over the years so that's it and now I'm gonna look in the hole and position this wherever it needs to be so it's gonna line up and this one I can already tell it has a nice snapping action the old one that was on here it worked great for some time but was always a little loose and in time it got looser and looser and looser and finally the thing just came off and fell off and that was the end of it so let me get that lined up, and then you simply insert that into there. Okay, so I have this here. I've turned it this way because that's kind of the orientation it's mostly in. You have some play here, so you can go back and forth, so you can get that lined up in there. And it looks like this is going to go in just like that. You see how nice it fits? Simple like that. So that goes in, and now we get the screws. I'll use the new ones that it came with just to freshen it up a little bit. You can reuse the old ones if you like. Put that in. And we're going to tighten that down. Don't tighten it all the way yet. Get your other screws started. So that way everything will line up. I'll tell you it's a little unnerving not being able to lock your back door unless you have maybe a different, uh, you know, like a floor lock on your slider. Don't go too tight because you don't want to strip these out. You just want it tight and a little more right there. That should be it. So obviously the door works. Okay, that's all good. Wow, what a difference feels like brand new and it just snaps into place because it has that like detent position that was there before it was all loose and falling off and all kinds of crazy stuff so now it works great two screws and you slot it in very simple like that also take the opportunity while you have it apart Spray some oil like WD-40 in there 
just to free up the mechanism do the same over here on the actual latch itself that's here spray in there all that good stuff so make sure you spray in there just to lubricate everything and don't forget the strike plate over here where it actually hitches up to it because that also when you oil that will work a lot better just have a little paper towel or something and this way you know you can wipe any over spray off locks down good opens up locked up tight I hope this video helped you out if it did please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons that lets me know I did a good job making this video and I can continue to provide them for you have a great day